possibly are you expecting to see from Spoda? I think we're going to see Tripp's tight end. He's not going to be using very many of them chemistries on offense. I think he only has it on his quarterback. So we won't see in these these playmakers or uh, route specialists on his wide receivers. We're, he's going to play the game slow, and he's going to have a lot of deep plays with the post routes. He's probably going to try to establish the run a little bit more than you see these guys in the gun bunch. It's great that you bring that up because I, I spoke with him last night, and he said, you know, because there are nerves involved in live events, he will run the ball a little bit more just to kind of ease himself into the game. I'm the same way. I, I, I think if you get an easy a big run play, it's, it makes it a lot easier. On you. It's not going to happen here, though. Walter Payton with the carry, stuck behind the line of scrimmage. Skimbo showing off that patented defense. It's kind of tough because if you're IB Strafe and you're running a similar offense to Skoto, You've seen Skimbo run that 5-2, I'm sure, in between games, but now you see him out in this nip, big nickel versus the, the trip side end. So. Blocky is somebody who said that Skimbo has, in his opinion, the best defense in this 16-team field. Showing a little bit of it there for a two-yard loss. Second and 12, under pressure. Vic didn't get sacked, but it wasn't a great offensive play either. I love the defense there. He sent that extra corner off the left side because that tight end, you're, you're limited to routes that are going to be running from to the to the left side quickly. So you send that extra corner that's man aligned on the left side. He's going to scream in, and he's going to have to throw the table out hot. He's going to he's going to sell himself up for a pick later in the game. An early big spot here. He's got. Oh my. He's got the first down. What a great user by Skimbo. He just, you know, the sharp's a beast. It's hard to contain him, and that's what happened. He caught it over. Him. Spoto, if you see Walter Payton back there, it's a rarity. He's the only, Spoto is the only manager with Walter Payton in the backfield. I love that card. That's who I was using as well, so I like to see him out there. So it was an early test for Spoto. Passed it there, picked up that first down. Now it's second and ten. And if you're Skimbo, you could have easily got off the field there. You felt like you played good defense, and now you kind of reset, and so you have to continue to play good defense. Can we say this? Other than that one play... There's been no yardage picked up. What a great play. Throwing it to the flats, it's sharp. And that's kind of the, the, the game plan that Skimbo has. He's going to try to bait him. And he, you'll see him drop that corner in coverage a few times too, but that's the mind game that's going to be being played is what this corner on the left-hand side is going to be doing. Spoto from the gun. He's got three wide receivers. No, now make it two wide receivers on the right-hand side. You'll see that corner drop in coverage here. Vic rolling out, looking for something, then throws it away. Great defense. See, that's the problem. When you do send that send routes over on that side, they're not very good. Um, and and it kind of it helps with the pressure, but as you've seen, he had nothing getting open. You mentioned it briefly, but he doesn't have any chems on his wide receivers either. Yeah, it makes it tough. It may, definitely makes offense more difficult, but in this trip side end, it's a little bit easier than if you're in gun bunch. Vic throwing it to the right side. Oh, what a beautiful duck. Great right point. in between the zones. That's a read I'm not very good at making. I run this trips tight end offense, but I'm not very good at making that read. That right there was an absolute laser. Looks like Beautiful he's got throw. it again. Oh, he's going to move this guy back. Spoto threatening early. Watch this real route to the running back, or the whip route to trying to. It's covered pretty well. Here comes Vic. Under pressure again. Sacked him. I believe he got sacked. It was a five-yard loss. It's going to be tough to score from here. It, just don't make a mistake. you got to get points on this drive. Can Skimbo do it again? Absolutely. Holding up in the red zone? Never count Skimbo out of anything. Wouldn't be surprised if he had four picks in the red zone. Thing. Throwing it deep. See how risky that pass was? It that's, was. That's almost never I mean, there were work. three receivers, right, or three defenders, Only rather, right Only bad things there. can happen there, you know? Only bad things. So third and 15. If I was photo, first drive of the game, I would just run the ball here. Big points on the board. No, re no reason. He's not going to give up anything. Spoto searching, scanning. Throws it across the field. There's a flag. It was just a bad play call. You just got to just run the ball there. Put points on the board. You you're lucky to get points here. As you see, his guy ran out the back of the end zone, so it was a legal touch in anyways. Right. But even if he came down, it was going to be a, a stop for Skimbo. He so the field goal attempt. And you'll notice these players are trying to fill that bar up and then get it perfect on the way down so, so the field goal can't get, be blocked. And Skimbo's been known for blocking field goals, like being pretty good at blocking field goals. So it's something to watch out for in the rest of these games. So the first drive of the game results in three. 
it's almost that classic Skimbo style defense where he'll let you move it up and right, down exactly. on him and then hold you in the red zone. Absolutely. And, you know, like I said, it's, Skimbo's, it's a win for Skimbo. Skimbo expects to get seven on every drive. I promise you that. He expects to get seven and he expects to turn you over in the red zone. So Skimbo now we see with his first drive of the game. Skimbo, dropping back, scanning, scanning. He missed Tons of time, out. tons of got time. Him. Now he's got a man oh, open deep it. down the side. One-handed catch. The was, user playmaker picks up 41. I was surprised by the lob there. It looked like he could have bullied it, maybe made a, a man miss, but a 41-yard game, can you really be too mad? Skimbo was 15 of 21 passing in game number one for 327 yards. Picking up right where he left off in game number two against Spoto. Vic scanning. He's got a man. He's got plenty of guys wide open, and that's Galladay. And you see, you'll see Spoto's user lurking around. He was guarding the corner rack, came back over to the post. You're just not going to bait Skimbo into throwing that to you. He's going to make the right read 90% of the time. You had mentioned earlier you don't see too many Kenny Galladay cards being played. Yeah, I, I actually like that card a lot, but yeah, you don't see a lot of them. Uh, a lot of players have trouble with him because he fumbles a little bit more than most, but... Thrown to the back of the end zone, it's caught! And Skembo is known for, for his utilization of the tight end. He was the first player that was that was that that really found a way to make his tight end important in the bunch tight end offense, and that's why you see that. Saw a defender diving at the feet of the kicker, but ultimately it does not matter. It's seven for Skimbo. We talk about how easy that looked. No, easy. no pressure. We didn't say, oh, he threw that. No, it's just wide open, just great offense. Got a chance for a kick return here. Spoda spinning away from uh -oh. one. Make a move. Good juke move. Pick up a few more yards. Here's the replay on that touchdown. He just found the man in the back of the end zone. Absolutely. Threw it high. Touchdown all day long. And that's a situation, right, Mo, where, where the high throw really does come into play. Yes, uh, you'll see a high throw almost every pass play in the red zone. Spoto, can he respond? If you see, Skimbo's just making him think about that whole entire left side. He, he's, Spoto's so nervous to throw anything over to the left because Skimbo's user's over there. He's going to throw that underneath stuff right where Skimbo wants him to throw it. Early frustration now for Spoto after that pass is broken up at second and ten. Look for Skimmer to put that corner back in coverage. I bet he's blitzing. He's blitzing. He's coming. Spoto under pressure and he's sacked. You see how, how afraid Spoto is to throw that table and corner out? It's just so scary. If I was Spoto, I would start blocking the tight end and leaving the table route and making Skimbo just sit on that sideline and hitting stuff across the middle. Third and 21. Early adversity for Spoto. What can he do here? Scanning. What a user by Skimbo. Gets to Damas. You talk about the user for Skimbo. Walk us through that. Why was that such a good point? He was sitting on the post, but he came down on the in route, the perfect time where he knew there was no chance he was ever going to throw the post. So he came down and, and tackled him for, he gained 12 yards, but if, instead of him gaining 17 or 18 yards, he only gets 12, and he's at fourth and 10 rather than fourth and three. The small things separate the great players from the good players. And now it sets him up for where he can run a more comfortable defense right here rather than on fourth and three. Spoto. Nothing. Will he try to run for it? No. Throws across his body. Oh, my. And he picks it up. Hey, you will not see Spoto crying after this game, talking about how unlucky he got. I promise you that. Because that was as lucky as you can get. Wow. On fourth and ten. What a pickup. If you're Spoto, you got to calm down. you got to calm down. And you have to get some good plays going because these plays are not have not been smooth. You know what I mean? We talk about smooth skimbos. These plays have not been smooth. They've been sketchy. He's been, he's, he's gotten some fortunate breaks, and, you know, if you're Skimbo, you're feeling good about your defense, but you're mad because you should have got off the field right there and been in his territory. It feels as if Spoto is looking at third and long, fourth and long, every single time. It's just, you don't, you can't make a living like that. Eventually, it's not going to work out too well. 
But on that fourth and ten, did pick it up, keeps the drive alive as the first quarter comes to a close. The score, seven to three. Skimbo making it look easy right now. Offensively, a genius, a mastermind, doing whatever he wants offensively against Crush in game number one. And now against Spoto here in game number two. All right, let's start that second quarter. Spoto driving. Kimbo still coming off that right side. It looked like his cornerback got bumped a little bit. It's not a throw a to the left side. It's picked up. Was under pressure, though. We talk about how good Skimbo played on offense these last couple of games, but how about his defense? Seriously, like, his, he's, he's forcing his opponents to be uncomfortable, and that's all it takes. Third and seven. Another third and long situation. Looks like that cornerback's going to be blitzing again. He's going to get a ton of pressure here. Spoto's going to have to make a quick read. Will there be anything open? Spoto fires it off to the left side. It's got great spin move. Picks up the first down. He picks up the first, but I'm telling you, that read, he, he's uncomfortable. That was a good read, but but he had players, other players open that. I don't think he likes that route combo as much as you would think. that Because he has a, a route that he's just never going to get to. He's, he's running too deep. It's a double move. He's just never going to get there. So that, if that route's not open, he would have been in trouble. On third and seven, a big game there. The ball at the 20-yard line. 4.37 left to go in the first half. Spoto trailing. Seven to three. Walter Payton. A great game there. Powerful running to the right side. It's a big play. It puts you in a little awkward situation because now you almost feel like you have to run the ball and try to pick up this first down. But then you're going to be at the 10-yard line mm. where it's the toughest to score in the red zone. It gets even tougher than the 20-yard line or the 18-yard line. So... It puts you in a little tricky situation, but getting the first down here is important. Why in Madden is it so much more difficult double, double, double. to score from first and goal at the 10? The zones just play so well down there. Uh, it, and like I said, you, you'll see the high ball a lot, and that's why, because the zones are, are normally go underneath a little bit. You can throw it over top to your players, and they'll, they'll get a nice little catch animation over top of them. But it's tough. Uh, I know I, I'm not very good in the red zone. A lot of players aren't very it's good in tough. the red zone. It's very tough. After an eight-yard pickup on first down, lost two right there, makes it third and four. Skimbo, the coach, from Skimbo, the player, calls a timeout. I think we're going to see another run here. He's just he's just not comfortable down here. Um, his last set of downs in the red zone weren't any good. and He got a good gain on that first down, but like I said, he was forced to run the ball. Now Skimbo knows you're running the ball, so it's just never going to work. If you're just joining us, Spoto had the first possession of the game, kicked in three. Skimbo made it look easy on the next drive, scored seven. There's Walter Payton powering forward for a big first down. That gave Martin's like a 60 overall. That Walter Payton's a 90 overall. He's going to plow through him every single time. Again, another red zone drive. If you're Spoto, you're just hoping to, to break a run here. Oh, he passes. He's got a man. He goes underneath. Good tackle. You know, I'll tell you, he had that post open for just a second. Uh, it looked like a, I, I would probably would have tried the tight end, but you could have turned the ball over, too. That's what makes it tough down here. You're so afraid to throw anything that's not wide open. Can the red zone defense hold up again? It's second and goal. Getting it to his own man that time. That was, you know, we talked about great stick work. That time, maybe not so great. Vic ran into the back of his own offensive lineman. Got to just get rid of the ball here. And like I said, now he's at third goal at the 14. Tough I really situation. hope he, he plays a little bit safer than he has been. This is, this is where you can really lose yourself the game. Can the red zone defense hold up again for Skimbo? Let's throw it away. Vic rolling out, play. and he's going to throw it away. It's the best play that could happen there. You had no chance of ever scoring, so just get the ball out. It's so interesting to me that the offense in Madden is so high powered, it's so good. These guys make such great reads, but yet when you get in close, these zone defenses will lock you straight up. Absolutely. When you get close, it's so tough. You, you almost have to try to get a high ball opportunity with one of these curls or a hitch. It just, it just gets really tough down there. Or I like to try to run the ball in because I don't like throwing interceptions down there. Nothing more frustrating. So the second drive of the game for Spoda results in another field goal, 7-6. Here comes Skimbo, had some space for a second. Gets it up to the 32-yard line. We talked about how lucky that, or how not how lucky, excuse me, how great that first drive was from Skimbo. Got a little stat from Donnie Moore. 
Spoto's past defense in game one, 383 passing yards allowed. And that's versus Ryan Roberts, I.B. Strafen. Not nearly the passer that Skimbo is, so he might be in for a long day. So Skimbo will drive number two on the game. Really does highlight the clock because 2.36 to go in the first half. It's only drive number two. So Gets it out to the right side. Jones picks up nine. It looked like he could have thrown the post. He could have thrown the corner out, but he's just going to take his time, throw the eye route, pick up nine, get on to the next play. With no 2.31 to go in the first half, there has to be a mindset, I would imagine, from Skimbo, let's just drain clock yeah, last and drive. get out of there. If this is me, it's last drive, and I think with Skimbo it's going to be last drive too. You see him setting up his goal line. He's going to run the ball here. This is going to be the last play before the two-minute warning. He's going to just try to get points this drive because he knows he's getting the ball out of half and make this the last drive. It's a basketball turn, but it's it's a two for one, you know, yep. and you think right here, even three, that's that's huge for Skimbo because okay. he gets the ball right back. You just can't turn the ball over in this possession. And you you would prefer to kick three with zero time left on the on the clock. Right. So you're not gonna see a play here. He okay. does have two timeouts. You won't see a play here. I would imagine he's gonna let it run all the way down to the he's two minute warning. And he does. As advertised, Michael Skimbo on offense. Man, it's so impressive. Every time he's here, he's just so impressive to me. Uh, I, it's, it's crazy because every throw he makes, it's wide open. Every time, uh, especially in this game. He hasn't even came close to making a bad pass. I just feel like Spoto's not really making him think. Skimbo sees this defense all the time. Vic Get rid of it. Throws it away. He's so tough to sack, man. That, and that, that's tough for a player like me when I play Skimbo. I, I'm a pretty blitz-heavy guy. And I can never sack him. You know, he's always throwing the ball away, if not throwing it to somebody wide open. So I think that's a that's a key key part to his game that a lot of people don't give him credit for. Skimbo scanning the field. He's going deep. Uh oh. Right catch up and good. Dropped at the one. Dropped at the two. That's a read not a lot of people are going to make. Uh, that was a scary throw, but it, it ends up being wide open because of his, he just knows the timing on that route better than most. Just a beautiful drop in the bucket right there. Sets him up first and goal at the two-yard line. Quarterback sneak will get him to the one. We kind of talked about how Skimbo was going to take the last bit of the clock on this drive, and now it's going to—he it, can't. You know, Spoto, this is kind of a win for Spoto. It'd be great if you can find a way to hold him to three somehow. Probably not going to happen, but even then, you get the chance to, to score a touchdown before half. You know, this—this this isn't the worst-case scenario for Spoto. I almost wonder if. Skimbo thinks about trying to score quickly. I mean, now it's too late because he's draining the clock, but if he had scored quickly, use those two timeouts on the back end, maybe try to get the ball back one more time. I think he just wants to take as much clock as, as his opponent's going to let him. Now you'll see the time ends come, timeouts come in. But, you know, it, it could go either way. You know, sure. it just depends how confident you are on defense. Like, sometimes I want my opponent to have more possessions because I have a better chance of getting the ball back. So it goes both ways. I formation. Skimbo looking to punch it in. It's a toss to Mixon. He's got some space. He used the stiff arm, and he finds the edge. Uh, kind of a fortunate break there. Uh, Mixon makes a, a, a play on the outside. He's not a very high OVR card, but like he, like our G said, he does have that elusiveness. He does have that spin move. So not not too upset if you're Skimbo right now. And Spoto is a is a guy that spent money on defense. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he, he told us, I'm not using chems so that I can't have more players, more dogs on defense. See, that's why you see some people in this trip side end offense. It may not be better than Gun Bunch, but you are going to have the ability to spend higher cap on your defense. So here's a replay of that touchdown run. Mixon using that stiff arm right at the last second, gets away from that defender. But boy, is that, is that considered a 50-50 play in your mind? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably 70-30 towards the defensive line. Okay. Spoder under pressure. Gets dropped down. Second and 13. It's He's rattled. eerily similar how these two games are going between Skimbo and Crush and then Skimbo now and Spoto. It's just he's bringing that pressure. He's forcing long downs. And the offenses are just having trouble moving the ball. Versus Crush, we've seen Skimbo in the 5-2. And, and versus um, Spoto, we're seeing him in this nickel. So I kind of like the I like the mix-up, you know what I mean? So we're probably versus trip side in throughout this tournament, we're going to see Skimbo in this big nickel. And versus Gun Bunch, we're going to see him in the 5-2. So 
Like I said, Skimbo's going to be one of the most prepared players ever, every time. All right, Vic rolling out. He's got a man. He'll Ooh. throw it to the right side, and the play broken up. Pay attention to what Skimbo's doing over there on that left side. He's just taking away both routes, and then Skimbo's so uncomfortable that he has to roll out or he's going to get sacked. He's, Skimbo's so uncomfortable because of what Skimbo's doing on that left-hand side. Skimbo will bait him before this game over, make him throw through. 36 seconds to go here in the first half. Drops it off to the left side. Shot dropped inbounds. Great play for Skimbo's defense. You need one more good play to, for this half, and that's all you need. You need one more good defensive play on this half, and you won't give up any points. I like the fact that Spoto came in and called the play quick. He knows the clock is not in his favor. He steps up, finds the pocket. Now he's scrambling. He's off and running. He's going to get to the outside. Yes, he does. Out of bounds. 15 seconds to go in the first half. Great pickup there for Spoto. Kind of catches the breaks. Uh, Skimbo sent pressure off both sides. And the lane just happened to open up wide open up the middle. He ran with his 96 overall quarterback, or 96 speed quarterback. 15 seconds to go here in the first half. Can Spoto put points on the board? He needs them. He's down, 14 to 6. Vic scrolling out again. He's going to run it again. Oh, great dash up the sideline. And now with seven seconds to go, the boss spot at the 27 yard line. His stick Time work enough on that play was perfect. I thought for a second maybe he was just going to go straight out of bounds. Saw a little bit of space and then picked up the extra yardage. If he did, if he would have went straight out of bounds, he still wouldn't have been in a field goal range. So he knew that. He took the chance of maybe this guy getting off the block and tackling inbounds, and then he wouldn't get any points. But a great play right there. You needed points. That was huge. A little pooch punt, pooch kick. And that'll draw a close to the first half. 14 to 9. Your halftime score, Skimbo leading Spoto. Let's take a quick peek at the other game that's happening right now. It's IB strafing taking on Crush. Ooh, looks and like at halftime, Crush rebounded in a big way. Yeah, it looks like he kind of flipped it on him. You know, um, IB strafing, he was down half at half last game, so he fought back and had a great opportunity to win that game. You know, he's, I know he's still kicking himself for that, so I wonder if that has anything to do with how this game's going. 28 to 10, the halftime score there. Crush leading by a ton. All right, be sure to look in the Ultimate Team menu for the competitive tab and check out the new Madden Bowl-themed game day program. Get Madden Pro players as coaches, MCS uniforms, and some exclusive Mutt content now. All right, third quarter. About to get underway with the halftime score. 14 to 9. Skimbo trading sevens for threes. You'll take that all day long. Uh, I'll tell you what, I bet Spoto's a little bit more happy than Skimbo is right now because Skimbo had a chance to put this game away early. I really feel like he's dominated the game and this the score is still close. You know, Spoto's still in the game, so it's pretty big for Spoto right now. I'll try to get a stop here. That last drive, so huge. So huge for Spoto to yeah, get to three get on the board. Because now you've put yourself in a situation where you're Skimbo where before if you were up by eight. You'd be just fine kicking those field goals, and now if you kick a field goal, it's still a one-possession game. So Skimbo with the second-half possession. Go, go, go. Hey, hey, hey. What does he do offensively? Can anyone stop this man's offense? A throw off to the right side. It's a small pickup. He picks up four, but that might have been the best defensive down that, that Spoto's had so far. So if you're Spoto, like, you haven't been playing great defense, just try to hold him to three. You know, try to get a touchdown. Take the game play by play. Skimbo's going to try to hit up the seam. Skimbo Not there. looking. Nothing open. Great defense. Can he find anything? No, he'll throw it away. Great defense. If you're newer to the competitive scene, I think you see the scramble out and you're wondering, okay, well, you've got Vic, why don't you run it? Yeah, uh, it's, it's just tough because you're able to, to send your closest defender with the right stick. If you click that right stick in, your closest defender is going to come attack Vic. He's going to come rush the passer. So it's tough to get very many opportunities. And, and Spoto's actually dropping a spy back a decent amount of time. So it's going to be tough. Galladay there with a the pickup at the first down. Hey, Galladay has been huge for Skimbo. Yes, he has. Him hanging on to that is maybe the biggest play of the game. He went from third and six, third and seven. It could have been fourth and seven. Galladay comes down with a huge catch, keeps the drive going. 
So four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Skimbo up 14 to nine. If you're Spoto, you're, you're kind of happy because you've been playing decent defense this drive. Let's see if you can continue it. Skimbo under pressure, and again, so impossible seemingly to sack him. All right, keep it locked on the Madden League Ops Twitter handle for live tournament coverage, content, news updates, and more. Again, find it on Twitter, Madden League Ops. Hey, let's go! You know, VY Electrify said this about Skimbo. Skimbo comes more prepared than anyone else, period. And that, you know, that takes a lot of players by surprise because, like I said, there's a lot of players who, who think Skimbo's approach just isn't, it's not It's not the best way to play. And, you know, it, it, it's just not true, obviously. As you see, he's just been dominating. Uh, Spoto is starting to get some steam. Yeah, he sure on defense is. Now. He's, he's starting to lock in a little bit. I believe Skimbo was 5 of 6 passing, and now he's 7 of 11. So you're doing something right right now if you're Spoto. Just kind of try to keep that momentum going. You know, Spoto, when we spoke with him yesterday, said one of his, he considers one of his strengths to be able to learn his, his opponents. And maybe he's doing that now. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, he caught it. Are you kidding me? If you're Spoto, you're wow. angry. You're angry. That was a risky throw. I don't know how he held on to that. Randy Moss, I think it was. And that's why everybody has Randy Moss on their team. How did that play not get broken up? I have no idea. It looked like his defender might have snuck behind him rather than cutting in front of the ball. And that boss has a big shield, so he just went and caught it. Right when we were saying Spoto was starting to bow up a little bit defensively well, on a third and ten. Skimbo, Skimbo picks it up. Skimbo's drive starting to look a little more like Spoto's drive, you know. It's been tough on him, so. There it is. Ooh, overthrow. A bit of an overthrow. I thought that might have been touchdown. If you're Spoto, you're not happy, but you're, you notice you have to notice that you're playing better defense now than in that first quarter for sure. So you just kind of try try to rally behind that if, if you're Spoto. That's how I am. I know it, what, even if I'm not playing great defense, I'm not getting off the field. If I notice my opponent's at third down a lot, fourth down a lot, you got to just think that eventually one of those is going to go your way. Defensively, Spoto said he's not going to really blitz a lot, but we'll try to get aggressive in terms of guessing plays. So here comes Skimbo. Tons of time in the pocket. He'll uh -oh. sling it off to the left, and it's broken up. Boy, Great I defense. mean, playing with house money there because Galladay was absolutely locked up. Great defense. Poto's, Poto's adjusting well right now, and uh, he's actually sent pressure a few times, and he's also manning up the right people. I feel like he's kind of locked in on Skimbo's offense right now. It was going so well offensively for Skimbo, it's almost kind of shocking to see Watch him struggling here. The middle. Third and ten. Skimbo scanning. He's throwing it off to the left. The aggressive catch, no. And you saw the passing numbers as well. All of a sudden, just 8 of 15 throwing the ball. Spoto's adjusting, man. Uh, something I love to see as a defensive player. Uh, Spoto's making a ton of adjustments. He's playing the odds. You know, Skimbo's not coming down with those, those one-handed catches anymore. He's playing great defense, and Skimbo gets three on that drive. He probably shouldn't have, if we're being honest. He had that third and ten over the middle. It was pretty, pretty unfortunate for Spoto, but, hey, if you're Spoto, you're in this game somehow. And now you're only down one possession, and you got the ball. You have to go get points here. I'll be interested to see if Spoto elects to go for two if he gets a touchdown. I kind of always wait. To, to go for two until the fourth quarter. So right. if, if he doesn't score until the fourth quarter, I would probably go for two. If you score early, I would probably just, just kick it deep. Offensively, Spoto said he, he wants to slow the game down a bit, but when you're down in the second half, I wonder if you have to adjust your game plan there. I think it changes your attitude for sure. Oh, good stickler. Oh, he had a chance there to break, break loose. Yeah, he sure did. Walter Payton with the rush to the left side. Good stick where Juke moved back inside, helped him pick up the yardage there. Six yard gain, second and four. With that Walter Payton, you're going to be able to truck, spin, do all that, but he's not as fast as a lot of these other running backs. I don't like this play setup at all. Oh, Skimbo's blitz in that corner. Spoto! Oh, no! Oh, no! The ball tipped and intercepted! Right. And this one's going to be returned wow. to the house! And all of a sudden, wow. just like that, Skimbo in firm control. What a huge play. I cannot believe that happened. That is one of the best tight ends in the game. I have, no, I have yet to see that this year. That is a huge play. The pick six. 
makes the score all of a sudden out of nowhere, 24 to nine. I cannot believe what just happened. This photo was, it seemed like he was just finding his way to get back in the game. How was that ball not caught? I don't know. I have no idea. That was a, a, a pretty pretty good pass if you're Spoto. I would, right. I, I would continue to throw that pass if it's there. If, if that's going to happen, it's just going to happen. It's not your day, but I would continue to throw that oh pass. Oh, my goodness. That ball, I just, how did that ball not get caught? Here comes Walter Payton ramming it up the middle. Great gain on first down, makes it second and two. If you're Spoto, you just have to find a way to, to, to forget about it. I know it's tough, but you have to find a way to go get seven on this drive. You don't want to go for two yet. You've got to get seven. Good read. At right, that time, the aggressive catch works, although it was Moss and not Sharp that time. I cannot believe it. I still can't believe it. I know we keep coming back to it, but that play, that play is a pretty big play. Spoto was just starting to get some momentum. Yeah. It's just just an extremely unfortunate play. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's All right, what can Spoto do? Can he respond? If I if I was Spoto, I would start motioning this wide receiver almost every play so Skimbo can't blitz that left corner. Because every time Skimbo blitz that left corner, Spoto is just uncomfortable. Thrown right up the middle. And he was way off on that one. Brings up second and ten. When you motion that the outside receiver all the way to the left, it forces him to put that cornerback in coverage, or else you can just have a hot read out there for him. Spoto said, admittedly, that he does get frustrated when games are going bad, and this game's going pretty bad for him. He said one of his biggest weaknesses is that he gets too predictable in his play calling. Can he break that habit here? He's going to fire it off to the right side. Great read. A user spin, and he breaks away, and he dashes into the end zone. Look at him. He's talking. I love it. I love it. Way to, way to, way to fight back, kid. Way to fight back. That was amazing pocket right there, right? It looked like he might have got sacked on that play. He steps up in the pocket. He's super patient. Gives that corner out time to develop. Makes a move. Scores a touchdown. Way to fight back. All right, so here comes Skimbo. Oh, my goodness. Has a ton of space on the right side. Gets the ball all the way up to the 33-yard line. Does a nice little swaggy hurdle move for no reason, going out of bounds. <laughs> Gotta love it. Amazing pocket right there. And a great read, too. Yep. Dot, dot, dot. Come on. <laughs> dot, dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I love it. It's an ellipses. It's a dot, dot, dot. Let's see if we can see some more good defense out of Skimbo. Skimbo. Rolling out. He'll throw it away. As you can see, Skimbo's just not as comfortable as he was in that first half. I, I know he scored in his first drive, but you can just tell he's, he's just not hes not as quick on his reads as he was in that first half. And again, if we listen to Spoto, he says one of his strengths is just being able to learn his opponent's tendencies. Maybe showing it here. Skimbo again under pressure, and again forced to throw it away. Skimbo, Skimbo has this bad habit. It might be his only bad habit. He loves to come back to the same play after he has an unsuccessful play because he just thinks his, that your opponent's just going to change his defense, and Spoto's doing a good job of just keeping that same defense out there. 108 to go here in the third quarter. Spoto trailing. But Skimbo with the ball. He'll fire it, and this one picked off! Tons of space in front! Touchdown. Pick six. Are you kidding me? It's a pick six! I was just about to say, although Spoto is losing the game, he's winning the chess match right now. Sk Skimbo changed his play, and Spoto adjusted perfectly to it, gets a pick six. It's, this is a different Spoto in this second game, I promise you that. Dueling pick sixes in the third quarter. And all of a sudden, just like that, Spoto now trails by one. And has all the momentum. 14 unanswered. Great defense. Skemo gets a pick six. Kind of controversial. You know, Sp Spoto made a good pass. It gets picked off for six. Makes a great play on defense and gets it back. Oh, he's talking. And we got, and again, this is the replay, but man, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Spoto is chirping right now. Feeling himself. Good read. Use your brain, buddy. Use your brain. <laughs> Use your brain, buddy. I'm going to start stealing that. Oh, like my that. Lord. This photo oh. is playing great. I love it. All right, so Skimbo goes to the ground. 
And it's it's so funny. Anytime you see a guy throw a pick, I'd say 75% of the time, the first play back, a run play. Yeah, it almost has to be. You know, it, it, and I, I don't know if you noticed or not, I feel like when my players make a good play, they start playing a little better afterwards. I, I, 100% his, his guy just, I don't know why. This, this guy just shot the gap and he sticked to himself. Spoto has all the momentum right now. If you're Spoto, you're almost happy you're on defense right now. Skimbo clinging to a one-point lead. This time he is buried in the backfield. These adjustments are so perfect. It is going to be tough for Skimbo to make a living right now. I'm telling you, Spoto is on top of his entire offense. He's got him bagged, absolutely bagged. This is amazing defense right now. Incredible defense being on display right now from Spoto, the 17-year-old kid from Staten Island. Skimbo's better than anyone in these situations. I just want to point that out. He's always found a way to make a play in these situations. Third and 23. Firing Pick. one to the left. That's going to be Pick. picked again. Get loose. Get seven. A lot get of there. space on the right get side. There. Does he get there? No. Dropped at the four. But back-to-back -back possessions resulting in back-to-back -back interceptions. Skimbo contemplating life right now. That was the end of the third. And fireworks to begin the fourth quarter. What a way to end the quarter if you're spot on. You get right back into it. That's what I love. I love when we just get right back into it. Don't pause my game. I got all the momentum. Let's roll. Here's Seven. Walter Payton, and he makes him pay. Spoto's feeling himself right now. It's 21 unanswered. I mean, come on. I know me as a player, after I got that pick six, after I threw that, that wide open pass to Sharp, I don't know how I res respond from it. I almost don't want to be in the game anymore. Spoto stayed locked in, something he's not been able to do, and puts up 21 unanswered against the best player in the world. That's saying something to me. Even at 17 years old, Spoto, very self-aware, was, was again talking about how he knows he gets emotional, he knows he gets frustrated, and it's something that he's been trying to work on. Absolutely. And like I said, it, it comes with age to a certain extent, too. You, it, Growing up is a real-life thing, you know? So we'll, we'll see. I think he'll adjust and use it to his benefit, even. Incredible. What an incredible turnaround for Spoto. So here is Skimbo. Can he He's get anything all going him. offensively? He's all over him right now. I mean, just cannot find anything offensively all of a sudden. Like I said, I think that in that first half, he was 6 of 7 passing. 8 of 20 now. 8 of 20. That is insane. Great, great adjustment. Look at the faces he's making. He's uncomfortable. He's unhappy. He knows he has to find a way to score. I hope he can get it done. Eight of seven. It's at least, in my mind, I think it's at least seven incomplete passes in a row. That's insane. Especially coming from one of the best offensive players we have. This time a duck down and a big hit, but he does hold on to the ball. I know you only get six yards, but that play means a lot. You know what I mean? It, it, it kind of lets you reset. You remember that the tight end's on that route now. Yeah. You can come back to it now. Before, you're just trying to hit him over the top, and it's just not working. Be a little bit more patient. Play your game. So Skimbo needs to get back into it. He's now trailing. Sharp, great spin move. A little bit of bat stick there by Spoto, but he's probably going to get the first down anyways. But Spoto, Spoto's feeling good right now. I can promise you that. I, lo I love the way he's adjusting to this, these plays. And I, I think I think it's going to be tough on Skimbo if Spoto's able to, to, to keep playing the same defense. Skimbo making a slight adjustment. Looks like he's going to take what the defense has given him. A little dink and dunk. That's okay. We'll get him back on track offensively. He'll fire one to the left, and it's caught. He's, he's throwing that a little bit late, though. Before, in the last couple games, he was throwing that pass where his tight end was, could still make a move. You see he's on the sideline. He has to possession catch it. Rather than before, when he was playing crush or earlier in this game, he was throwing that pass earlier where his guys can still make a play. Spoto has him a little uncomfortable right now. That's because he's, he's changing up his defense almost every play. and It's just something you love to see. It's just great Madden. At one point, this game was 14 to six in favor of Michael Skimbo. 21 to six after the pick six. That's, that's insane the comeback that he's been on. Skimbo firing one deep. He has a man, Got it. and it's a touchdown. If you're Spoto, you just can't give that up. You've been playing such great defense, you just can't give that up. And now Skimbo, Skimbo's glad to be back on defense right now. That's that's one thing I'll say. Spoto's playing great defense. If you're Skimbo. You want to have the lead and be on defense. Spoto doesn't want to be on offense. And if I'm Spoto, if I have an opportunity to get seven early on this drive, I'm taking it. I'm not trying to take this clock. I want Skimmo back on offense because of how well I'm playing on defense.
and the lead reclaimed now by Skimbo. 31 to 30. All right, let's take a look. What do you see in Mo? He just he, he he did that same route combination versus Crush, and he shouted out Tony, and it worked again. He has that he has two deep safeties, and they just get spread out because of the comeback on the left and the, and the C route on the right. I mean, he just ran a, a, a go route up the seam and found Tater. Uh oh. Gimmo starting to get a little bit of that momentum back. Here's photo trying to get a big play. You almost got to get a big play. You do not want to play this nickel and dime offense versus Skimbo. He's going to make you make a mistake. Skimbo calling a timeout. I don't, I don't love that timeout, but he probably just had the wrong defense out there. You got to get the right defense out there in this situation. Second and 14. I would say if you see Spoto have a, a get a first down right here, you will see him take the clock with him now because of that timeout. So it could come back to hurt Skimbo, but it's something you almost have to do. If Skimbo wins, I'd be strafing would be out of the tournament. And Skimbo would win the group. If Spoto wins, anything can happen. We'll get into that a little bit more later. Oh, no, Beckham, great spin move. Oh, oh my goodness, what a spin and he move stayed in to get free. He stayed in bounds. I'm telling you, you will see Spoto take the clock with him, I think, now. Oh, maybe not. He came out on a play pretty early. He considers himself to be one of the strongest competitors in terms of clock management. So we'll see if he can make that stick here. I would like to see him take the clock then, right here. I think I think it's a great opportunity to take it. I love him motion over that right receiver. Spoto will find the man on the seam. It's caught for a first down. And now, now you're wishing you took those extra 12 seconds. He snapped it yes. a little early there. Because now you're almost you're right on the cusp of a field goal range. Now you put yourself in a little bit of awkward situation. Please don't snap this ball before one second on that play clock. Looks like he's going to take his time. Looks like he will. And this is the perfect situation to clock because you still have your entire offense at your disposal. You're not limited to just running the ball and being uncomfortable. Play your game. You, you have plenty of field to work with and still milk the clock, and you only need a couple first downs. Yeah, you, you, and he takes and a delay he took a flag game. there. Takes a delay game. What are you doing? You cannot do that in this situation. You just can't do that. Eagle, eagle. That is just that's That's just tough. Bad. Uh, you can throw out whatever he said about the, being the best clock manager because there's that's not, tough. you cannot let that happen. Though. That's interesting there. Brings up first and 15 now after the penalty. Spoto scanning. Looking to the right. Great Jumps it underneath. Shot. Out of bounds, though. Still, though, it's a great play. You pick up eight. That, that delay of game's hurting around because you could be at second and two, which might be the best situation you could have been in. So it's getting tough. Second and seven. You need one more first down to be comfortable. You need a first down here. With 229 to go in the game. What a back and forth second half this has been. Eagle, eagle. Eagle, eagle. What a Spoto call here on second and seven. I would really like to see him motion his wide receiver over. So here we go. Spoto, clean pocket. Great patience. Dumps it off Great to the roll. left. Picks Stayed up the bounds. first. Great play. And stays in bounds. And you just barely got enough yards for the first down, which is the best thing because you don't make the field any shorter. Just a great play. Perfect, perfect situation for Soto right now. Go back to that. You say it keeps the field longer. Why is that important? Because it gets, so, like we've been talking about, in that 20-yard line. And also the clock is harder to take as well because you're, you're, you limit your offense. Right now you're still at a situation where you can still run your complete offense. If you're at that 26-yard line, it'd be a little bit easier for Skimbo even. You know what I mean? Even though it's only five yards, it'd be just a little bit easier. So you widen that field as much as you can. It's great. What a game we got on hand here. Skimbo looked like he was in firm control after a pick six. We'll probably see a run here, and then I would I would assume Spoto will, will try to end the game in the next two the next two plays. Pass so here comes Spoto. He's got Peyton uh -oh. using Peyton beautifully. Rushed to the left side, picked up the first down. So you're seeing Strafe there. He is pulling hard for Spoto right now because if if Skimbo wins, Strafe's eliminated. I know that's tough because I think him and Skimbo are, pre are pretty pretty good buddies, so it kind of hurts to have to root against them, but you have no choice. And if you're Skimbo, you're not even all that mad right now because you know you're going to get the ball back. It's not going to be with much time, but it, this is still kind of an uncomfortable situation for Spoto. Look how early he snapped the ball. There comes Peyton. Just dashing up to the left side. And you guys will notice, 
there was four seconds up here when he snapped the ball. There was just absolutely no reason for him to snap the ball. You've got to let it go to one in that situation. The game is basically over. There's, there was absolutely no need for you to snap the ball early and give your opponent more time if you don't pick up the first down. And look at the players' lounge. I mean, <laughs> you know they're looking at this game trying to, A, learn a little something, but, man, what an exciting matchup this is. I can is. tell you who the players' lounge wants to win. Okay. And it's not Skimbo. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want Skimbo in the tournament if you're playing. A strong running formation. Touchdown. And it's a touchdown. He's, Koto's not happy, but he's been playing good defense. It's kind of a tricky situation because you did have two yards where you could have got a first down and the game would have been absolutely over. But it's just, you can never count on that. His guy gets a great animation and gets in the end zone. Pending the extra point. Oh, nope, going for two. Oh, they're going for two I think to make it a three. I would give it to Walter here. Let him fight. It's a five-point game now. Half back two will make it seven. Peyton. Got it. The user hit stick. But it's still the two-point conversion. That's huge. It's good. That is huge. gigantic. You're never going to. Skimbo's never going to go for two right here if he, if he scores. It, it doesn't matter if he scores with no time or 30 seconds or 45 seconds. He's never going to go for two, so you put yourself in a situation where you can't lose this game in regulation. Let's get you a quick game recap. How did we get here? Again, Spoda was down 24 to 9 after throwing a pick six. Then came back, scored a long touchdown of his own. Then the next possession got a pick six of his own, and all of a sudden, we had a great ball game. It's tough to do, especially versus Skimbo. If you're up, if you're up 15 versus Skimbo, you're thinking, oh no, how am I going to get back in this game? And now you're just completely dominating it. Just completely flip the script on Skimbo. I'm interested to know how Skimbo's feeling right now because Spoto, Spoto just completely adjusted and played perfect in the second half. Skimbo has all kinds of time right now. 116 on the clock. He does have one timeout as well, but that in this space is, is an eternity. Bringing the pressure this time, but Literally. finds his man. It's Moss. Skimbo's going to be as locked in now as he's ever been. Trust me, he, he will make the right reads on this drive. It's just about whether or not his guys are open. That time, Spoto brought a little heat. It looks like Ghost, Drini. I mean, how nervous do, does Strafe look? Uh, absolutely. He needs Spoto to win, or he's just done. He's packing his bags and heading home, so. It's pretty important. Uh, go, I think Ghost and Dream are probably go, going over the situation with him, and he's kind of realizing his fate right now. Skimbo throws another one away. As a Madden player, you don't really ever want your fate to be in, in the hands of another Madden player. Sure. You, but you put yourself in that situation. You went 0-2. Double, double, so. double. All right, so here we go. 51 seconds to go. Skimbo trailing by seven. Looking downfield, has a man, again. it's Galladay again! Whether Skimbo goes on to win this game or not, there's no doubt that the Galladay is Skimbo's best player over the last few games. So here we go, the final timeout used there. 45 seconds to go. Field goal does him no good. Needs a touchdown to, to tie it and potentially force overtime. A flag now. Just to go over this real quick, Skimbo, if you lose this game, you kind of put yourself in a tough situation, whereas if you win it, you win the group no matter what, and Ivy Strafen's out. If you lose the game, if you lose the game versus Ivy Strafen, as well as this game, you're out of the tournament after you just won your first match versus 28, and we're up 15 when this game. So you're kind of in a, in a rough spot now when you thought that this tournament was just yours. Skimbo tosses it to the right side, and the ball is dropped. Skimbo's player even having a chance to catch that pass is like, Amazing, you know that he, he brought his player wide and brought him back in. It was it was a great 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 attempt at a catch second and five 40 eagle, seconds to go eagle, eagle. Can Skimbo find the magic? Skimbo scanning goes underneath It's shot picks up the first down if you're Spoto, you're okay with it. Look at that clock ticking it, let, let him throw it again. You want him to throw it one more time really, you know what I mean? But it, he has a lot more room to throw this wheel route now. 24 seconds to go, and the ball batted down. I'll tell you what, if you're Skimbo, you're not mad at that. You're not mad. You might have gotten six yards, but you would have, you would only had a few more plays. Right now, you, you can still have a good play and get out of bounds. You're not too upset at that pass right there. 23 seconds oh, oh. to go. Strafing, pacing, 
Back and forth. Drini probably trying to learn a little bit. Will. Oh, He's going to throw the pick. He's going to take it back for six. Watch. Skimbo. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. What? what? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Spono. How do you do that? Game. How do you do that? I'm all down with the swagging, but now I, I just need Skimmo to get seven here. He I need him to get seven. The I'm throwing all the rules of commentating out. I'm ruined for Skimmo. Get seven. Unbelievable. Throws it to the left. Nope. It's no good. Oh, my goodness. What a game we have. How do you do that? How do you do this that? This is impossible. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I mean, hot dogging and then fumbles it. Oh, my goodness. Skimbo, last chance, five seconds, four seconds. Pick. Nope. Oh, and the my ball. goodness. It didn't Where's get it, it going? Bounds. It didn't get in bounds. He didn't pick it off in bounds. He's got one more play. It's third and ten with three seconds to go. If you're Skimbo, take your time at the play clock screen. You need your players to be as energized as possible. The entire player's lounge. Look at him. They cannot believe that mistake. On pins and mistake. needles. They cannot believe that mistake that he just made. Spoto clinging to a seven-point lead now. Julio Jones, can Julio Last Jones play get of it the down? Game. Skimbo, can he find magic? Oh, no, okay. he's sacked. Oh, my God. Spoto comes up defensively. A huge play. Spoto, come on, buddy. Come you, on. You win, but that was, come on, buddy. You had the game won. How oh, do you do that? Oh, my goodness. I can't handle it. I cannot handle this game. Unbelievable. So now Spoto wins. I feel like, I mean, he is feeling himself right now. Spoto wins. Skimbo loses. 38-31.